One of the most recurring questions that I get in my inbox like nearly every day is around airport transit visas. Nigerian and Ghanaians are always asking me, am I required to get an airport transit visa when I'm flying Air France or KLM? Essentially flying through Europe. I can understand this because I've heard so many stories of people going to the airport, trying to board upon these airlines, and then finding out that they are required to have an airport transit visa, which they never knew anything of before. I personally feel airlines and travel agents are not forthcoming enough with providing this need or this requirement when people are making purchases for their tickets. Many Nigerian and Ghanaian passport holders are not aware that they are required to hold an airport transit visa if they are traveling through Europe on board airlines such as Air France and KLM. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what exactly an airport transit visa is, when exactly you need to apply for it, and most importantly, how you can get around not applying for an airport transit visa. Because yes, there are some circumstances whereby as a Ghanaian or a Nigerian passport holder, you're exempted from that need to apply for an airport transit visa. If it's your first time here, my name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle content creator, creating to help Africans navigate travel better and smarter. If that sounds like something that'll be interesting to you, please, click that red subscribe button and join this incredible family and also give this video a huge thumbs up if you love informative videos like this and you want me to create more of them in the future. What is an airport transit visa? An airport transit visa is a type of visa that allows you to pass through the international transit area of an airport in a foreign country without entering the country. It's essentially a short-term visa that allows you to wait for your connecting flight in the airport. If you need an airport transit visa, you need to apply for it before your trip. You will typically need to provide information around your travel plans, including your flight information and your passport details. You may also be required to submit additional documents, such as a proof of onward travel or a visa for your final destination. Now to the most interesting part for me, how can you get around not applying for a transit visa and still able to transit through um, the countries that you're transiting through, you're connecting through, if that makes sense. I'm gonna be reading here, right, from the official um, French government site so that you have this information. And it says, you do not require an airport transit visa if you are. I'm gonna talk through the key points that relate to some of the questions um, to some of the, I guess, the aspects that will relate to most Nigerians and Ghanaian travelers. You're exempted if you are a holder of a valid residence permit guaranteeing the right of return and issued by Monaco, the Principality of Andorra, Japan, Canada, the US. So if you have a residence permit from these countries, like a green card from the US, um, a Canadian residence permit, you don't have to get an airport transit visa. It then goes on to say that if you are a holder of a valid visa for an EU country or an EEA country or Canada, the US, Japan, regardless of the airport of departure and regardless of the airport of arrival located outside of the Schengen area, in the case of a return trip, the holder of a visa issued by one of these above countries is exempted from the airport transit visa, even if the visa has been used and therefore is no longer valid, provided that the return trip is made from an airport located in the country that issued the visa. So for example, if you have a valid visa for um, maybe a visiting visa, a student visa, it doesn't matter what kind of visa you have, you're actually allowed um, to be exempted from needing to apply for an airport transit visa. And the last part of this is saying that if it's a case of a return trip, I guess you're returning, the holder of the visa, they're saying is that doing an airport transit visa, if you already use the visa, even if the visa is exempt, if the visa has expired. So for example, let's take a Canadian visa. You're going from Canada, going back to Nigeria. And your Canadian visa, you're flying from Canada, but your Canadian visa has expired, but you still have it. You'd be allowed to basically transit through, um, for example, France to go to Nigeria. That's what they're saying here. It goes on to say that if you're also a family member of a national of the EU or the EEA or Switzerland, you're exempted. And finally, it's saying if you're a holder of a valid Schengen visa or national long-stay visa 
or a resident permit issued by any Schengen country, you're exempted. Right, I, the, you know, this is there's this is a lot of exemptions, right? So I've known people that have gone to apply for an airport transit visa, but they didn't have to because they were exempted. So make sure you check the link I'm going to drop in the description box below so that you're aware and you don't waste money. I think it's important to state this as an additional point that if you plan to have a connection between two airports in the Schengen area, right, you need to know this. First of all, the holders of the ATVs are not authorized to enter the Schengen area. If you have a connection between two airports in the Schengen area, or if the airport through which you wish to enter the French territory is closed overnight for the duration of your transit, you must hold a valid short stay Schengen visa. So it's important for you to know that perhaps maybe a short stay visa is what you need and not an airport transit visa if you need to get one so that you have no issues at the airport. I hope this makes sense. I really hope this video has been super useful, super enlightening. Make sure you share it to other people so that they're aware and they don't waste money, right? And maybe instead of trying to get an airport transit visa, book a direct flight on BA instead or, you know, buy a flight on Delta or United instead of having to go through the process of applying for an airport transit visa. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever applied for one before. How was the process for you? Let me also know if it's, you know, for you it's, it doesn't make sense to do it. You just, you pretty just book a direct flight. Let me know if you've been rejected from boarding before because you didn't have one. Like I want to hear your stories in the comment section so that I can engage and we can all learn from each other, which is what this, my platform is all about. Like educating, informing, learning so that we can travel better and smarter. Again, I wish this video has been super useful. If you're new, subscribe and join this incredible family. If it's, you know, if you made it here, Say sassy, I made it. Just leave a comment and say sassy, I made it, you know, here. Thank you once again for your love and support. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.